and the, the Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup in the Buck Station on the right hand side of your screen. It is Shiplake College A and Great Marlow School in the Buck Station. Another local rivalry, which is great. Wow, what a start here from Shiplake College A on the right hand side. And I'm always absolutely so impressed with these junior athletes in the Uncox boats, particularly in the Foley for the men and the Diamond Jubilee for the women, because it's really hard to steer, particularly past Temple Island here. And this crew from Shiplake just made it look so easy. Look at their composure as they're really dominant in this first few hundred metres. That was a great start from them as well. They got straight out and they haven't moved. They just, they haven't gone off course at all. Like, it looks brilliant, amazing. Take note, watch this. <laughs> Other young athletes that want how to do it. This is a good example. <laughs> and we have a live shot there looking at the Shiplake College A crew. This crew would be expecting to get through, I would think, into later in the week, looking really composed. Right down nice and low. Fantastic rhythm and togetherness. This, this course has had a really good season so far. They, you know, they finished second at Nash, uh, schools head, which is, you know, is always really impressive. They're in the final at national schools, so they are one of the, the kind of UK top boats for this event. It's always interesting to see what's come from abroad, though, that they haven't come up against. So they'll know the local rivalries, you know, in this system in this country. But what may they come up against that's come from abroad? And we know that the Diamond Jubilee is attractive to many international crews, the US and Australia particularly, always fielding strong club and school-based crews in this event. A bit of a steering correction there for Great Marlow School, just getting back onto their station. So we're right here with Great Marlow School, Charlotte Greening in the bow seat, Amelia Eldridge, Poppy Spence and Erin Huddleston in the stroke seat. It's their first time they've competed in this event. It's amazing. I love it. That's what this event's for, isn't it? Absolutely. It's such a fantastic event. It's one of my favourites, the Diamond Jubilee. Tough conditions out there. You can see, looking down on the water, it is a slight head breeze. Certainly wasn't my favourite. Don't want the race to be any longer than it needs to be. I don't know. It's weird. Sometimes I did. <laughs> Sometimes I didn't. Um, it was always, yeah, depending, you know, so many factors come into it, but it would depend on the course you're racing on, you know, your position, you know, what they would like to do, they go out quick, you know, if the race is a bit longer, they might better hold on, for all different things coming to play. Yeah. Well, this course is, is it 2,112 12. metres long? This is long. Yeah, yeah. so. <laughs> it's definitely long enough. <laughs> yeah. But as they're coming up towards the stewards' enclosure now, this crew still in the lead. Shiplake College A, Anna Merritt in the bow seat, Mayor Jackson in two, Jessica Weir in three, and Sophia Foreman in the stroke seat. Shiplake College has around 140 members in their own stretch of water, just two and a half miles upstream from this stretch of water here at Henley. And that program has grown massively in the last year. It's been incredible to see the infrastructure that's put, put in at the school, new boathouse, you know, it's stunning down there. It's absolutely beautiful. I remember when I used to coach down there many, many, many years ago, it was a small shack sort of thing. But now if you go down there, it's just glamorous. It's, it's amazing. But the infrastructure that's put in place to create the environment for these young athletes to flourish has been really impressive. Fantastic that they are here leading this race. 
very composed racing here as there's a challenge coming from the Great Marlow School. But they are running out of water as they're coming down to the finish line now. And yeah, they took the early leadership late, you know, very dominant today. You know, Great Marlow, like, it's about experience, isn't it? Coming to the Henley for the first time, learning what it's like to race up the course. Doesn't matter what age you are, it's a learning experience, isn't it, at Henley? <laughs> We see Great Marlow School coming across the finish line. Confirmation there in the Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup, Ship Lake College A beating Great Marlow School. And thank you very much to Mark for joining me on air for these last couple of races. Thanks, Sarah. Enjoy the rest of the regatta. And I welcome. welcome